the final middleweight bout of the evening. Fighting out of the blue corner, this warrior is a mixed martial artist making his debut here tonight. Weighing in at 185 pounds, 84 kilos, fighting out of Iron Force High Wickham, John Mitchell. Fighting out of the red corner is his opponent. This gladiator is also a mixed martial artist with an MMA record of one win, no losses. Weighing in at 185 pounds, 84 kilos. Fighting out of Team Crossface Farnham, Chris Bryden. Chris Bryden, fighting out of Icon Jiu Jitsu, Thames Valley Wrestling, Slough Freestyle Wrestling Club, Minotaur Muay Thai, and Crossface MMA. From High Wickham, fighting John Mitchell. Been training really hard twice a day, about four hours a day in total, so hopefully it's going to show up tonight. Looking forward to it. Fighting out of the blue corner, this warrior is a mixed martial artist making his debut here tonight at TK MMA, weighing in at 185 pounds, 84 kilos, fighting out of Iron Force High Wickham, John Mitchell. <laughs> Fighting out of the red corner is his opponent. This gladiator is also a mixed martial artist with an MMA record of one win, no losses. Weighing in at 185 pounds, 84 kilos. Fighting out of Team Crossface Farnham, Chris Bryden. Ladies and gentlemen, it's showtime! So we've got John Mitchell in the blue corner, Chris Burden in the red corner. Mitchell tying up early. He's got the wizard to stop his back being taken and he used it to get out, that was well done. A little bit of clinch work up against the cage here. John Mitchell's the shorter, but seems to be more explosive. And he just got manhandled there and turned it into the cage. Very nicely done. Yeah, Chris Bryden looking strong, actually. Very strong. It's like a, a Roman Greco fight here. A lot of twisting and turning. Yeah, both looking for a dominant position against the cage here. Both nice. probably favouring a takedown. Another nice turn into the cage there by John. Hip throw. Beautiful hip toss, but oh. he ends up underneath. That's often a, a big mistake with those big hip throws. You can end up being underneath. But he looks comfortable there. He's getting his guards going straight away. Oh. Sweeps. Can he get on top? He's big back to suplex, it. maybe. Is he looking for it? No. He's trying to put the double unders. Yeah, that was a perfect hip on, but it doesn't score in this fight. Yeah, Chris obviously quite well versed in takedowns. Up against the cage and he's throwing in some dirty shots. Some Both exchanging to knees them. here. Yeah, great, great use of the knees. John at the moment is just on the receiving end. He doesn't have to... Oh, oh a good return well by done. John. Well done. That really sounded like they connected well. Foot stomps are back. Yeah, foot stomps have been used all throughout tonight. It's, it's not, not very often you see them in MMA, but everyone seems to be using them tonight. Chris possibly setting up another hip toss. He's trying to defend on the knees, and then he's, he's having his hand pulled back. So John's trying to defend, but this is doing a great job. 
Bit of judo from Chris again. Nice little foot sweep to get him into side control, shortly followed by the mount. Chris is definitely look like a, uh, the more slicker apart. I mean, John's doing a great job, but... Chris doing a lot of pressure enough. on his head here. Not really a legitimate submission attempt, but putting a lot of pressure on the neck here. Yeah, John not in much trouble there at all. Although Chris with the better position. Oh, oh it gives his back. Nice transition to the back. Both hooks in, pulls him back over his heels. Going to be looking to work a rear naked choke now. The seatbelt control by the looks of it. He's, he's crossed his ankles though, which is a no-no in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. There's a foot lock off of that, but I don't know if uh, John knows that. I think John's in too much trouble here to, to be looking for a way out other than just protecting his neck right now. Chris going to work hard, get his hand under. John rolling to the right side, but Chris smartly switching arms, lifting the, the nose up there, trying to get his neck... Uh, now crushing the face. Crushing the face with that submission attempt there. Looking for the rear naked choke. It's not quite under the neck, it's so John can survive this. He's not going to go to sleep. Chris just needs to tighten up this submission here. Switching to a body triangle. Oh, no, he's switching to an armbar. Nice transition. Let's see what he can do with this attempt here. He doesn't have the leg hook, so there's nothing stopping John from... from Pushing up. Oh, he's got it. Strains the arm out. John fighting yeah, really well, hard to get out. It's looking like it's a one. That looks on to me. That looks on to me. He's doing a great job of controlling that arm. That John arm looks ready to tap, and he taps out. Excellent. That was pretty slick from, from Chris back. dominant all the way through that fight. Absolutely. And a great show of respect there. Good takedowns, good positional control. When he knew he wasn't hitting that rear naked choke, he switched to an arm bar and he finished it. Good work. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner by way of arm bar submission, Chris Bryden! <laughs> nice fight, Chris. Nice arm bar to finish with. Thank you. You were, you were trying to get a rear naked choke. You didn't quite have it under, so you transitioned into the armbar. Is that something you go for a lot? Yeah, not, not normally in the gi, but it's difficult to get the choke in with the gloves, man. You can't get it under the chin, so I got bored trying to do it. I know I wasn't going to get it, so I was going to lay there and win the round. I wanted to tap him, so that's what I did. Yeah, it worked well for you, mate. How did your training go for this fight? Training went awesome. Training twice a day, four hours a day on average. Killing myself. I want to say as well, thanks to Jack Hannaway. He got his ass out of bed at fucking six, half six in the morning every day to come to the gym with me and run. He didn't have to do that, and I really appreciated it. Good stuff. Anyway, what's next for you? Keep fighting, man. A few more amateurs, get the experience up. I take this serious. I want to be doing it for quite a long time, so just keep moving up, moving on. Great submission. Good fight, mate. Thanks, Jeff. Ladies.